We are heading to Ajman Aquarium, one of the best fish shops in the city of Dubai. Full of thousands of exotic fish. Bags, tanks on racks, on the floor, in the bin. Fish overload. They get enormous. These are fish that can like take over lakes. I don't even know if this is legal here. 1300 US dollars. Extremely beautiful, but totally illegal. Good morning. All right, so we are heading to a place called Ajman Aquarium, which is about two hours away from here in the city of Dubai. We got to make our way all the way over to the city of Ajman so we can find this aquarium that is supposedly one of the best fish shops and wholesalers in the country. Ajman Aquarium, where are you and how do we get to you? Bus ride was good. We're on the top deck of the cake. We had a great view and we got a little tour of the city. And now we got to find this aquarium store. So we have finally made it today to our location. This is Ajman Aquarium Shop. Let's go check it out. This is a fish wholesaler slash retailer. These guys supply the rest of the fish stores in Dubai with all of their exotic fish. All right, so we found it. It was well worth finding because this place is full of thousands of exotic fish. It's a little overwhelming. They have so many fish here, but I am going to do my very best to show you as many as I can. Oh, oh my gosh. Dude, look at this. two monster arowanas. Now these are Asian arowana, the ones that are illegal in the United States. You cannot have or own these fish in the United States because they're on the CITES list, which technically means that it's endangered. Down here, the craziest fish in here, this is the Banja Red arowana fish. It's got like a gold and red color to it. And they told me that this fish is 2,000 dirhams, which is 540 US dollars than the fish up there. So this is the most expensive fish in the entire shop the chili red arowana fish and this guy is 4700 durham 1300 us dollars this is amazing we have a pair of maturo stingrays those are 1250 durhams we've got a platinum gar he's about two feet long 700 durham 190 us dollars cleaning the glass we're cleaning glass in this fish store so that you guys can see the fish in 4k hd very interesting as well down here in these bins still more bins this is the first time i've ever seen arowana in a bin Arowana are jumpers, so I'm surprised that these guys aren't constantly jumping out of the blue bin. These arowanas down here, 80 durham, which is about 22 US dollars. Over here, we have the flower horn section. Flower horns are the fish that have the big heads. Some people really like them, some people don't like them. We got some really pretty looking flower horns here. They're 145 durhams, which is about 40 US dollars. This kind right here is a blue diamond. Look how small he is. This little guy has a massive head. I like this guy, it's a blue diamond flower horn. This one, whoa. Oh, he's, he's playing, he wants to play. He's a cute little guy. These are interesting, I've never seen these before. Chinese hyphen banded sharks. The hell is that fish? Yeah, it looks like a rhinoceros or something. Look at these loaches in here. A very interesting type of loach that I've never seen before. They're called Kabotia botia. Oh my gosh, there's a little party happening in this little, what is that? I don't even know what to consider that, in the little brick. It's a block party. It's a block party. I have a question. You guys have snakehead? Yeah, yeah. I don't even know if this is legal here. Is this fish legal here? Yeah. Oh my gosh. They have another fish that's illegal in the United States. It's called a snakehead fish. This is an unbelievable fish. You would never see this fish for sale in a fish store in the United States or in many other countries. So it's considered an invasive species. These things get massive. We'll flash some photos of just how big the snakehead fish can get. If they were to get out into, you know, lake or river, it would just totally destroy every other species and become invasive. Very beautiful fish, like extremely beautiful. Pretty insane. Up here, we have a whole tank full of silver arowana. These are 70 dirham, which is about 19 US dollars. More fish on the floor in these bins. These are all goldfish down here. And look how many they have. They have at least 20, 30. Look at these goldfish right here. Hello, hello, you're so cute. You're so you're so cute. This is their beta section. We got some plants up here, tons of different little betas and bags. They even also have some vampire crabs. Check these out. Get this, get this, look at this guy moving. So those are 15 dirhams, which is really cheap. This is like four US dollars for a vampire crab. The flag of the United Arab Emirates. 
all over this place. Another leaky pipe. All right, there's so many different fish here. This section right here is some interesting fish. These are peacock bass. They're 320 Durham. I love doing these, about 90 US dollars. These are fish that normally you don't really see in the fish store. They're fish that you catch when you're out fishing. All right, down here, you got some Oscars, some albino Oscars. You even have some clown knife fish. Kind of prehistoric looking. They got these big spotted patterns on their tails. In here, if you look really closely, there's an African pipe. That's like a fish you don't see in fish stores every day. And look at its teeth. It's like a little baby one, but that thing will get huge. They're pretty small right now, but they get enormous. These are fish that can like take over lakes. We got some more cichlids. We got a Siamese tiger cichlid. Look at this guy. Really weird looking, really interesting eyes. Look at his two little antennas. Very interesting looking fish. What is it? Red tail? Oh. Oh. Oh, these are rope bikers. Wow. These are really cool. Yeah, these are really cool. No, I've never seen this fish before. They're so long and their tails, the way they move, it's like dragons. It reminds me of an eel. It's an eel-like fish, but you can definitely tell it's a fish and not an eel. These amazing rope bikers, they go for 45 dirhams, which is 12 US dollars. Okay, these are very cool. Albino Paku. They kind of look like piranhas, but they're not. They're Paku. Look at them. Oh my gosh. You see them ch chasing each other? 45 dirhams, which is about 12 US dollars if you wanted a albino Paku. I've actually never seen those for sale in a fish store, but those get huge. They're Paku, guys. They're selling a lot of fish in here that get enormous. I'd say that's probably something that you don't see very often in the United States, just because most fish stores know that hobbyists won't want a fish that outgrows their aquarium at such a fast pace. But it seems like here, maybe they just want you to keep upgrading your tank. Who knows? This is the Uaru cichlid, the king of DIY, Joey. He used to go by Uaru Joey, and I think it was because he named himself after this cichlid. The only aquarium store that still uses blackberries, we're talking about the fish the blackberry fish. Look at this guy. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Look at him. Look at him. Do you see him? What is this? This is a, a marble catfish. 10 dirhams. That's two and a half US dollars. Over here, we have tons of little fish. So these are like tetras. We have some mollies, guppies, some more goldfish, ember tetras over here. Then there's even a killie fish. Really pretty fish. Oh, the manicure. Yeah. That's crazy. Whoa. That's so cool. And then on the floor, these are really unique. Whoa. Look at the way these move. These are called butterfly suckers. Whoa, look at the way they move. We also got some crabs down in this bucket. Ow. Okay, moving on. Up here. Ho, ho, ho. Dude, they got some crazy fish. This is, this is insane. Okay. okay, we got a cichlid right here. We have a red tail catfish. This is a baby. And then right behind this huge red Oscar, there's a giant pleco. In here, we have four silver arowanas. These are bigger. These are 175 dirham, 50 US dollars. And then something you don't see in a fish store every day, these are fire eels. And these 265 dirham, 71 US dollars. And then the last tank on the bottom, huge fish. These are probably the largest fish in here. These are called albino pungasis and they're 200 dirhams. It's about 50 US dollars, which isn't very expensive considering how big of fish these are. Their eyes like protrude sideways out of their heads. They almost look like hammerhead sharks. But yes, yeah, so interesting to see the largest fish in the aquarium store right next to the smallest fish. In this bin, we have mini puffer fish. These are pea-sized puffer fish. They're actually all hiding right underneath the, the sign. There they all are. You see them? Whoa, look at them. They're going crazy. These guys are five dirhams or one US dollar and 35 cents. All right, so as you go deeper into the store, it not only gets more interesting, it gets a lot hotter. Now, if you move over these bins, look at these. There's some massive albino pakus in there. These fish get enormous, and these are bigger versions of the ones that we saw earlier. So these are about 60 US dollars each. In here, we got orange goldfish in an orange tub. Camouflage is in full effect for these fish, probably because all the big arowana are right over here. Whoa, it's getting hot. Got some big arowana. So right here, this is a high back golden arowana. 1,350 dirhams, 370 US dollars. Okay, over here, this is a radiant red arowana. This is 3,000 dirham, 810 US dollars for this arowana. Look at him, he is so pretty. Hello, here's his certificate. So when you buy this fish, it actually comes with a certificate of identity, it actually corresponds to a number that is in a microchip that they've inserted physically into the scale of the arowana when it was first bred. You can see right here, commercially captive bred in Malaysia. So you'll be able to trace where it came from, from what farm, what year, what 
batch number, all those things. It's just crazy that they do that for a fish. But hey, if you're spending a couple thousand dollars on a fish, you want to know if it's purebred or not. You want to know where it came from. And then over here, there's a Malaysian golden arowana. And this is 4,000 dirhams. It's 1,000 US dollars for this golden arowana. Now this guy says no certificate. So this guy does not have a certificate. And look at him. Wow, a golden arowana. Okay, down here, we got some koi fish. Only a couple. Maybe they're very popular. They probably sold out a lot of other fish. And then over here, a bunch of different crayfish. So right here, you can see Smurfette. So we have an electric blue crayfish. We have some white crayfish. Here he comes. After the arowana, you round the corner. There's more tanks. Over here, you got discus fish. On the floor, you got more goldfish, geophagus over here, different types of cichlid, albino rainbow fish over here. These are really cool. These are green cobra guppies. Up here, these are all different types of a fish called viejas. These are basically like what you would use to breed to get to a flower horn. They're basically cichlids, just different kinds of like parrotfish and cichlids. Now over here, you got a whole nother rack of pearl arowanas. Down here, there's a few different varieties that we haven't seen yet. This is a 24 karat golden arowana. You have a whole rack of these 1350 durham 370 us dollars this is really cool look at this this is an abba fish this is a type of a knife fish and you can tell by the way that its tail its fin is moving but look at the way that it's just like slithering 350 durhams that's 94 us dollars okay we're seeing a lot of fish in this store that you just do not ever see, usually for good reason. A lot of these fish are really hard to keep as aquarium fish. This is another insane fish. This is a vampire fish. This is something that is straight out of the Amazon River. Literally a river monster and a baby one just sitting here. But this is 240 durhams, 65 US dollars. Look at his teeth. Jeremy Wade catches that. Probably seen that thumbnail. I don't know why this is in a fish store. I've never seen a payara for sale. Dude, this is a predator fish. Around in this corner, they got some more plants over here. This wall, tons of fish. Down here, wow, look at these. These are black knife fish. They're really cool. Look at the way their bodies move. And they got these white tails. These are very, very interesting fish. Where are you taking the fish? Retail shops. Someone's buying from you. Yeah, yeah. They do wholesale. So right now, he's bagging up and taking all of those over to another local fish store in the area. When you do wholesale in one day, all of those fish can be instantly bought and taken to a different fish store. That's how quickly fish can move move in this hobby. A lot of people have been telling us to come here. I'm like, where should we go? They're Ajman, Ajman. I told you on YouTube page, the one million. Yeah, yeah. You got to subscribe now too. You're going to be one million in one. Okay. All right. <laughs> who, who is this? This is our owner. That's the owner? Yeah, this is the owner. And who is, who is this? Uh, this is the Ministry of Dubai Climate Change. We get an award from the an award yeah, from the yeah. Minister of Climate Change yeah. in Dubai. Nothing mistake for around uh, 100 shipments. No mistakes for no 100 mistake shipments, for shipments yeah. importing fish. Importing fish yes. Good job, guys. Okay. Nice, 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 nice. Uh, this is our manager, Ashad Maru. He's the manager? Yeah, he's the manager. And we're... You know the uh, Ajman Sheikh? No, who is that? Ajman Sheikh. A ruler of Ajman. Ruler of Ajman. You know? He's the ruler of Ajman. Yeah, 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 yeah. ruler of Ajman. Wow, the ruler of Ajman came and checked out two times. Two times. He has an aquarium. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have plenty of aquarium. Tell him that I want to see his aquariums. <laughs> it's not in our house. <laughs> Maybe you can ask him. Like, Seventeen. Yeah. So oh, yeah. many. Oh well, let's. Get, I want a photo of all of you. Yeah. Look at these guys. I'm coming in the. I'm coming in the middle. 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 Wow. We're here with Roland. He said he's been subscribed since I was a little kid and had my nano reef. I saw your, uh, your, uh, my little, back, my little 10 gallon yeah, tank. That's, that's the time I subscribed with you. <laughs> Where are you from? from Philippines. You're from the Philippines? Yes. Yeah. But I'm staying here. But uh, when I got my kids, I, I quit reefing and I went to Stingrays and Arowana. Uh, so this is my, this is my tank now. This species I get from here, yeah. but I quit the uh, reaping because uh, it's very costly and you know, the maintenance. They're all subscribing, you should too. Might as well get everyone to subscribe while we can. Ready? go! They keep multiplying. There's so many of you guys now. <laughs> Make sure to click that red button down below and subscribe to the channel. Go off the 12G, we've been here. Keep it up, you guys are doing a very, very good job. It's an amazing store. And if you guys are ever in Dubai, it is a little bit of a hike to get out here. It's worth it. Come check out the fish store, Ajman Aquarium Shop. All right, good talk. Now we will drink our sp the sprites. <laughs> we will gladly accept.
Thank, Thank you, you so much. Thank you. You guys are amazing. But make sure to drop a like. We'll see you in the next one. But until then, remember to keep those nitrates low. George, out. Remember to keep those nitrates low. George, yeah. out. <laughs> we got to work on that, guys. <laughs>